What's up? All right. Good. Yes. Yeah. Getting ready to do 104.3, the fan here in Denver. With these guys. Not much, man. Just ready. Ready to do some work. Yeah. In that ring come Friday, man. You know what? You're going to be in the interview with your opponent. How's that? Uh, that's, you know, business. You know, business until we get in the ring, and then it's all about having fun and getting ready, man. Putting on a show for the fans. Hi, Simon. Hi, how, how are you? I'm great. How are nice you? Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Uh, we're about to do a radio interview. We're here in Denver, trying to big up the show, let people know what's going on, and uh, you know, yeah. make the thing exciting. <laughs> well, it's coming on Friday night with the doors opening at 7 o'clock, Glory 56, Denver, and it'll be at the First Bank Center in Broomfield, Colorado. And among the contestants, Simon Marcus, who is... Uh, as I read the release earlier today, the headliner yes. on this uh, particular event. Do you feel like a headliner? Do you feel like a favorite? Most definitely. Uh, you know, the fans come out to watch me because they know I bring it every time. So we're going to do our thing. We're going to put on a good show for the fans. Make sure you see it. If you haven't seen kickboxing before, it's uh, the most exciting uh, striking sport there is in the world. So uh, it's going to be good. Yeah, this fight came together. Um, I'm a Denver local. Yeah. So. We got these guys coming into town to uh, to face me in my hometown. You know, John King's first up in this tournament. There's it's a four man tournament, so yeah. win the first fight and fight again. I think within 40 minutes. Uh, tell us about this fight and what you know about Chris Canosi. Uh This should be an interesting fight. I know he's coming uh, from the UFC. Uh, I'm looking to go out there and show him that there's there's levels to this game. You know, it's not just you can just come over from a different sport and and I uh, think you can come to this ring. We appreciate your time Thank today, you. John. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was saying, they fighting, so we might as well have a rap battle started out here. <laughs> Get the party started. Oh, shit. <laughs> now I'm getting really called out. <laughs> you can kick your country style or whatever. <laughs> We're done. Oh, I got it. The light heavyweight champion of the world inside doing fighter interviews. I actually had a chance to talk to him yesterday for about an hour, so I had to slip out and send a text message, but I'm about to go back in. Come on inside. And, uh, and, uh, there was one man thing now. I uh, uh, last yeah. time was a very uh, good pre preparation, but now is more comfortable, more better. Uh, I'm on. This is my sparring partner. Oh. Same, huh? <laughs> Same, but uh, my sweet pants. How is uh, Artem? Is good? Oh, Artem, very good. Prepared was good, so he too strong. Everything really good. Hey, today we came uh, for a video shoot and uh, interview, so... You're enjoying? Yes, yeah. enjoying my time. Exactly. Perfect. Good. Me? Looking down. Welcome to Glory 56, Denver. We do this every time. We're here with our favorite, Alyssa Mexen. Uh, always bringing the intensity. She's always in shape and probably always the champion, so... Uh, let's see what we got for this Friday. And uh, until then, catch us up uh, as we move along our fight week. See you there. Good. Now, turn. Go. And if you can, just point just to the camera. So just shadow box to the camera. Right here with just your hands. And go. I'm fine, thank you. Good today, media day almost done for us. So glory give couple gifts. We go rest, walk somewhere, and tomorrow we wait for official check weight. Ah! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. If you want. Anissa Mexen, super bantamweight champion of the world. shooting uh, new merch spots for uh, one of our ma major sponsors, which is Fairtex. We've got some new bomb-ass Muay Thai shorts. <laughs> so, of course, we got our champion, Art Mbaki, top here. 
Might as well have the best to model the best, right? There we go. What's the story of the sunflower? Oh, the sunflower? Yeah. I saw it on the way here, and I was like, I feel like being pretty today. I got a photo shoot coming up. I got to look good. <laughs> Looking good. Mm. Yeah, I think we're going to get you on the scale, too, if you don't mind. Yeah. Nice to see you, bud. How is it? Looking very good, man. Thank you, bro. Welcome. So, should yeah, I go to hop on now? now? Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you for being ready. Two twelve. We're good. I'm okay. Yeah. This is uh, you can see how the training was. Eh? Normally, uh, when I came to the fights, I had to cut like two or three kilos. But uh, now you see, I'm already on, on my weight. So this training was was crazy. You see, it, it was crazy. I, I'm just in shape. I'm just in shape, and I cannot wait. I just step, want to step in the ring and. Just bring it. Yeah, you're eager, huh? I yes, can tell yes, you're yes. I'm, I'm so, so hungry. I'm so. I just want to go into the ring. So that's it. <laughs> We're in the Mile High City of Denver, Colorado. I got my man Masaro, the Project London, and he's got too many tattoos, too many stories. So we better not waste any time. Let's go inside. I started when I was 16 on my 16th birthday. So. I got one from my dad. Yeah, which one was that? That one was this one on my arm here. Yeah, yeah. And, and your dad's name and your, no, your own name obviously is here, right, Glunder? Yeah, Glunder, my last name is uh, on my uh, arm. I put that tattoo uh, without permission from my dad when I was 16. You know, I got this one on for my birthday and then uh, I had to finish this one. Yeah. But I want to put something else first, so I put this one in this first and in the hope that he didn't mind because it's my dad's name my brother's name and my last name yeah right cause but here, uh, if you're on the inside of your name you see rodney is your dad yeah and quentin now are your brothers yes yeah true All two right. of my uh, younger brothers so did he mind yeah he did why he didn't beat me up because i didn't ask you know and uh, i had a deal with him that i could take one tattoo and when i was 18 i could could do whatever i want but yeah. So, so I was still 16 years old there. Not the fact that you did get a tattoo, but the fact that you get without permission. Yeah. Yeah. What's the one thing that you see? Uh, that's what that's what's missing from my body. That tattoo I still have to get, whatever happens. Is there is it that no. like a missing part? No. No. Not, no. 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 Uh, it's by me. If if you know, I can maybe tomorrow I wake up. I want to put something new and uh, look it up on the internet or uh, let somebody draw it for me and. Uh, Go to the tattoo shop. Look, we're actually in a tattoo shop right now. Yeah. So. So I have to fight. Empty chair here. Yeah. Empty I have chair. <laughs> so we sit down. So we do it now. No, I have to fight. So. I have to fight. Yeah. Not possible. Yeah. For a fight. All right. So we'll, we'll find out later, later how that goes. Mm -hmm. So shall we go then? Yes. We'll right. go. I want to say thank you for your time. Yes. All the you're best. welcome. Good luck with your fight. Thanks. See you next time. Sure.